Hello, everybody. Tyler here. Kelly, we are going to build us a computer. I have no idea what I'm doing, so Kelly's here to keep me on track and show me what to do. So yeah, you're doing it all. I'm just going to tell you how to do it. Okay, let's do it. So first things first, I have the NZXT H510 um, case. So this is going to be what's going to hold everything. It's nice and beautiful white. So what do we got first? Do you want me to? So first let's take the, both the doors off, the okay. door panels, so we have full access on it. So pretty simple thumb screws to take these off. If they're over tight, we can grab a screwdriver. They are loose. Okay, set this aside. Yep. We'll take this one off. Is it a lot of mess in? No, it's, so this one's held in magnetically, so you kind of have to pop the magnet a little bit. There you go. I see. And then it's just the glass that'll come off, I think. Maybe. Are we missing a screw anywhere? There it goes. There go. Take that out, set this aside somewhere safe. I got my safe spot here. And then there should be a parts box or a parts bag somewhere down in there. Oh, there it is. So it's got all your screws. Any, I think they give you zip ties now. And then like a bunch of extra things. Let's take a look and see what we got here. Okay, we got zip ties, some um, 510 screws, some hex screws, flat screws, and then a- It's like an audio splitter. Audio splitter cable, okay. Then we got some instructions, it looks like. Yeah, we don't need those. We don't need those. <laughs> we'll just throw those off to the side. Nice shot. Wow, that was a good shot. Okay. So, okay. so one extra step with this case is that it has this little cable hider right here. Okay. This little white thing, it's kind of a highlight. I like to remove it because it does get in the way a little bit. Okay. Uh, I think there's just two screws on this back side right up here. Yep. Looks like two there. There's actually the one, two, three, four, the four? five different screws. So little guys. Oh yep. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. You're up. Alright. And this is just for ease of access basically. You're gonna be pulling some cables up through that little hole. And do you like to put this back on? Or? Yeah you'll put it back on after. It'll it'll make it look all nice and clean. It hides a lot of the stuff that you're doing. So thanks to Kelly he brought all the the tools static Wristband. Yeah, the static wristband. I don't use these every time, but it is nice when you're dealing with the electronics that you put in here just to ground yourself to the case. That way you're not going to discharge and potentially destroy any of the very sensitive electronics. We don't want to destroy anything. So this is the first time I've ever built a computer. I have no clue what to do. So. But you picked out all your parts basically yourself. I did. So. With some help. It's, it's gotten a lot easier <laughs> in the modern day PC, to build your own computer. PC part picker helped me figure out exactly what I needed, so, and for the best price. Yeah, they're a really useful tool as okay. far as making sure everything's compatible and uh, just giving you like a good representation of what the prices are and where you can get it pretty low. I think they use like 10 different resellers depending on where you're at. All right, those ones don't want to come out of the case. Oh, those are fine ones, yeah. We'll just, just leave them in, in. set those this aside. Yep, yeah. and so that just opens up this hole so you can feed a couple cables through there that you're gonna be doing later. Okay. Okay, so the first thing you'll want to do now is turn it around, lay it down, and we'll fit the motherboard. So in the case it shows you got the three different measurements right here, ATX, micro ATX, or ITX. You on the camera can't see that. And this is an ATX board. It's the regular full size board for okay. a mid tower PC. So, so it shows A thing. for the different standoffs. Yep. And so use. they've got all the standoffs automatically pre-installed. Okay. So, so let's, let's open this bad boy up. Open this up. So we have the MSI B450 Tomahawk Max, which is the B450 
Uh, I'm not quite sure exactly what that means, but... It's a letter with a bunch of numbers. Yeah. <laughs> it, I guess, compatibility of different things or different... It's just the chipset the is chip what set. it represents. Yeah. Okay. So it's all an anti-static... Yep. And so bag. the most recommended thing to do when you build a computer, we're not going to do it this time, just for the sake of doing it, is that you would take your motherboard, put all your peripherals in it while it's outside the case, plug it in, power it on, make sure it works, and then go through the assembly. And that's just to save you the effort of like, you put everything in the case, you power it on, something doesn't work, then you gotta pull everything back out. Yeah, that would if be you, kind if of If you do pain. it beforehand, then you don't have to pull everything apart. But I've been lucky so far, knock on wood, that it hasn't been an issue for me. So all the videos I've seen, they like take their box and they set it like and this, set the board on and then it. they take it out of the packaging and put the packaging down and then the board, so let's oh, do and you, that. You can do that, put that on, just clip it onto the case. And all that's doing is it's just normalizing your static so you don't have a, a build up and then discharge out of the board. Okay. All right, that's kind of cool looking. It's a pretty nice looking board. Yeah, it is. So you can see right there's your slot for your hard drive that you're gonna install. Okay. CPU slot, you've got a little bit of plastic protection you can remove later, and then your this four DIMM slots RAM. for your RAM. One thing that we might wanna double check is the order okay. that you put your DIMM slots in. All right, so what's next? <clears throat> so now you're gonna measure to fit. So you pulled out the little, that little, back plate right there okay so that's gonna go right in this slot from the that inside just snaps in right yep just pushes in and it'll click okay so this guy so I ran into some technical difficulties here both my cameras decided they were gonna stop recording and I restarted the front but I didn't realize the top had stopped recording so I don't have any more top-down footage I'm gonna put some pictures here to try to supplement but I am sorry for that and then it looks like your motherboard, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws. See how that threads in? Threads in just fine. If we need to, we can consult the book that we threw away and said that we didn't need. <laughs> that real quick. Sometimes you just have to consult the instructions. I think we both can agree instructions are never useful. Yeah, I agree. Until with you've that. already decided not to use them. <laughs> oh, we want the 632s. The 632s, huh? The yeah. flat screws? Yep. Okay, 632 flat screws. Or there's 632 hexagons. Because there's only four of those, so. Yeah. So we use these ones instead. Okay. They're a little bit coarser, but I think that's the threading that we want to use. So you're just going to grab your board and it's going to, it's going to resist because of this. Okay. You're going to have to kind of push it. And so you're going to want to prep at least one screw on a screwdriver when you set this on and kind of push it in. This is going to be kind of your locking point. This goes into this hole right here. One screw. You can take off that extender if you need to. On this guy. Yeah, okay. You need probably a second pair of hands, it makes it a lot easier. But you can hold this with one. And then so you're just gonna want to line this post up with this with the right middle there. one there. And it goes this way? Yep. Just like that. Okay. Didn't resist you at all. Did not. Now we just start screwing these bad boys in. Mm -hmm. And 
And we don't want to do them too tight or snug because we don't want to break anything, right? Just, yeah, just finger tight. Just you don't, you don't have tight. to really tighten them down. They put uh, extra strength around those holes. Looks like they soldered it up a little bit, but you don't want to go accidentally cracking the board. No, I do not want to go cracking my board. Okay, get this out of the way now. Couple more in there. Okay, one part down. You're on a roll. We are on a roll. If I can get these screws in. They do make it a bit of a challenge on some of those. Man, the videos I've watched make it look so easy. <laughs> and you can like push on the edge of your board too if you need to, if it's not quite lined up. Just to get it to It's lined shift. up. The screw just doesn't want to go in straight. You know how they give you problems sometimes. <laughs> so what are we going to put in next? So the next, uh, we're going to do the power supply. Okay. Because that'll go in the bottom. That's kind of a, like the basement area. Yep. That's not a big deal. And then we'll work on, we'll kind of build up. We'll go some of the smaller pieces into the bigger pieces. What power supply do we have here? So EBGA 600 bronze power supply. Yep. And you're not using a whole lot of power. You got one little NAND flash hard drive and a video card. I think when I built it on PC part picker, it was like under 300 yeah. watts. But all right, so I'm gonna set this bad boy up, and we want to flip it. You'll flip it so the other side's facing you, and yeah, just kind of like that. Okay. And then your power supply is going to slide right in there. All right, let's open her up. You got a knife? Yep. Always oh, got a knife. <laughs> Always put away from you, Boy Scouts. Thank you. I was never a Boy Scout. Yeah, I flunked out of Boy Scouts. <laughs> if that's such a thing. I think they said this was a partially modular power supply. So there's some cables already plugged into it. Yeah, looks like it. And then you only really have to plug in what you need. And judging by what you currently have, you may not have to plug any of, any this of in. that in. Set this box aside. This is the bulk of the weight here. And then the power interface just goes to the back of the case. Yep, and you'll want the fan facing down. Facing down, okay. Fan facing down, slider right into the basement. And then those four flat head screws that you had, these ones are gonna be your power supply mounting screws. Okay. Looks like they've got, oh, these are just special Cable ties, it looks like. So instead of Velcro cable ties, yeah, instead of zip ties, they're Velcro. These are way better to use because you don't have to cut them to reuse them. Well, that's good. It goes right there. And let's see what some of these are. So this is a VGA. You don't use that. I'm pretty sure everything you're going to use. Yeah, you're not having a SATA. Santa peripheral, Santa hand. I don't think you're going to use any of these. That's going to be nice. The cool thing about this case is that it's got two special slots for SSDs that sit behind the back side so you don't even see them anyway. And then down at the bottom of the case, it's got another cage for them. Nice. It uses a lot of its space really well. Well, so far, so good. Chugging right along, two parts in. Two parts in. So far, it's been pretty self-explanatory, but I have watched quite a few videos as well. So I've watched all of you good people out there build computers on YouTube, but I have never built one yeah, we're gonna myself. To this manual, so you've got 
We'll do the Ram next. If you've got that set. Okay. So this is G Skill Trident PC3200 DDR4. And it's two. RGB. Yeah, RGB. Very nice, very pretty. It's two 8 gigabyte DIMMs. So we're not filling the whole thing. So we want to know, based on the motherboard specifications, which two we need to put those in. So it looks like they want you to use A2 and B2. So that'd be this one, this one, and this one, and this one. Yep. Okay. Yep, and it says right there specifically, insert memory modules in the DIMM A2 slot. Perfect. Okay, so these knife. I need to get me a nice bench made. <laughs> Non-sponsored, but Non-sponsored. They're, they're an awesome. Right. And the installation of these is very simple. Yep. Just so. line up the slot and then push it straight down. You've got them opened up. And they'll just So you just click. push push them until they click in. Yep. It comes with a cool sticker. I'm not like I'm not a sticker kind of guy myself. Yeah. I, I like a nice clean case. I'm not one of those guys that. Really and then you want to line up the split in the. Yep, with that little. With that one, so the longer one is this side. I believe. Just like that. Push it till it clicks. Just like that. And it does make you a little nervous. You hear the like crunching. Yeah. You see the board flex a lot, but they've designed that all into. They've taken it all into into account, so that that's that's how they work. That's okay. It's really Ram unsettling. is installed. Done. Okay. Okay. Next, I guess we'll do the big boy. Oh. We'll do your power supply the CPU. or your CPU. Power supply is already in there. Okay. So with the CPU, we're going with the AMD Ryzen 5 2600, six core, 12 thread processor means absolutely nothing to me, <laughs> but it is what it is. There's a term called hyper threading where it virtualizes your six cores and makes it operate like each core operates as two. So there's your processor. There she is. It's just crazy that that thing is what makes your computer Makes it work. Make it go. So with these, from what I read, you have a small little triangle on one corner, which lines up with the triangle here. Mm -hmm. um, and you just gotta be really careful not to touch the threads and bend those on the bottom or the pins. Yep. All the pins there. So you wanna try to avoid touching the platen because your the oil of your fingers, the top can be damaging. Um, so you'll grab it from the sides. Grab it from the sides. You'll pull that bar out and up. Yep, just like that. Okay. I'm so nervous now. So just like that. So again, the triangle is going to go here. Yep. <coughs> and it just sets in. Just straight down. And then this is also going to be really unsettling because when you pull that bar down, it's going to crunch. Okay. And then you just push the bar down. Yeah. Ooh, not, not too bad. It didn't crunch like they normally do. Okay. Okay. So CPU's installed. CPU in. Now we can do the heatsink for it. So this processor comes with its own cooler. If they, what do they call this one? Is it the Wraith? I don't know. I can't uh, remember. I don't know what their standard are. And a lot of people, like you'll see the enthusiasts say that the stock coolers aren't worth using or whatever but unless you're doing like serious overclocking or putting some serious load on your processor and it comes with thermal thermal paste already attached to it so try not okay. to touch that um and we want to get the power cord out of the way and these have all the hardware ready to go except i do need to remove those i believe oh yep that's something we should have done a second ago okay so now we've got our RAM, got our CPU with the cooler on it. Should we put some memory in? We can, we well, got your memory in, yep, so let's do some storage. Memory and storage are two different things. Two s completely separate things, and I always say the wrong term. It's kind of like for you gun guys, a magazine and a clip. Yeah, yeah. If you say clip, get out of here. <laughs> you, don't, you don't belong here. Just kidding, but really. 
Okay, so this is a Samsung 970 Evo, the M.2. It's 500 gigabyte storage. So these you'll want to put in at a slight angle. And you want to go this side first, yeah? Yep, just like that. Boom, boom. Storage, not memory, is in. <laughs> okay, um, let's run a couple of cables before we okay. put this big boy in, because it's gonna it. be a big giant bar right in our way. Okay. And you've got all these cables that came with the case. And so you have your options, you can run here, or up through the bottom. I would run right through there. Okay. Or maybe even this hole, if you really want to. And so that panel would normally just plug into this. Okay. And then you've got all your separate stuff. So this goes into here? Yeah, if you want to use the extender. You don't need to use the extender, but you can. This is just an extension? It labels everything, but this is basically set up to plug right onto that. Okay, what would you recommend? Um, I, let's just plug it in, I think. Just I don't think you need the extender, yeah. So it's got this missing pin, you see that? Yep. And then there's a missing pin. So it goes pole. like this. Yep. And that just goes right like that. Okay. Now there is a chance that these are all, these are differently aligned than this. Mm -hmm. And so you might have some LEDs messing up and stuff. And so we can go back and we can change that. Okay. But the main function that you really want is your power switch. Gotcha. And so this guy should go into this, yep. this box here. Just like that. You've got an HD audio, which is this odd right far here, left. far left, and that's gonna be this, this one. one. So, so it should be able to fit right there. And then last but not least, you got your case fans. So you've got a couple of spots for case fans. So your CPU fans plugged in there. You got a system fan right there, right here. and then you've got one right there on the front, and then there should be another one, yeah, right here. Okay. So I would recommend probably these two. It's gonna look a little cleaner than having a cable come all the way in here. So you've got one slightly longer than the other. So here's the one that I would probably put in the bottom, and this one. Let's see where it's a little see. short, actually. Make sure I'm putting this in the right one. We can, uh, let me feed this through real quick. Set and then we can, we can lay your case back down here. Okay. All right, so there is four pins, but. It's only three. It's only so three. you'll just line up. Line the, up the. Yeah, just line up those slides. Yep. There's that one. Okay. And then that and one. This one. Right there. Okay, so system fans are a go. System fans, so you got your case fans plugged in. We've got your front panel connectors, your power switch and all that, your USB, your audio port, if you wanna plug into the front instead of the back. And then uh, I guess the next thing we'll do is we'll do this. The graphics card. The graphics card. So with this, I went with the GeForce GTX 1650 Super for price. It was like $169, so. I think right now it's at the top of the list for best performance to price. I could be wrong. Um, it, it did have some pretty good benchmarks. Yeah. So. It's a little bit older. It's a couple years old now. Um, but we don't got anything else. For what you need and for, especially for the price point, this is gonna perform just fine. You're not gonna be running the best and the latest and greatest at the max settings, but you're probably not even gonna notice. And for a beginner, probably won't even notice. The second build is when we double the price. That's right. For a sub 800, under $800, I think this is gonna be a pretty sweet setup. Okay, so this is your bottom, your socket right there. Okay. And that's gonna go into this silver slot. And then that's a, you can see this is a two slot fan that shows. So you got these two little guards. 
So I need to remove. You're gonna pull off. So it's these those. two we'll things. This. Mm -hmm. Grab this. The so top. you got this is holding them in also. So you okay. want to pull that off first. It's just thumb screws, I think. They tight thumb screws. They might be over tight. Yeah. Even with our minor hiccups, this is probably one of the smoothest builds I've done. <laughs> That's good. Like almost every time I'm trying something new. Oh yeah, of course. And so with something new, like the last time for me was the liquid cooling. And so not wanting to screw it up and pour, you know, even though it's non-conductive liquid, you don't want to pour that all over your motherboard or anything. No. So, so I want to remove these two top or just the one? Uh, both of them. The two of this. This will take up both of those. And even though it's only got the one, you got DVI, HDMI, and display port on it. It's pretty good. So we're removing two of those. And then I think you'll push oh. that down. Open that up. Yep. And that it should just click just like the. the it memory. may not, so you may have to lift it. It kind of varies. It's supposed to click, but it may not. And what's this guy for? That's for another video card. So if you were to run two video cards, you can stack You could run side by two, side. huh? Mm -hmm. All right, so I got that lined up, got it in the slot, and then just straight down and in. I'll crunch a little bit, there it goes. And she automatically clicked into place. Yep, and so you can put your two screws there, and then we'll put that cover back on. It's not a big deal, it's just an aesthetic choice. It's not blocking any airflow or anything, these are vented. So there might be a little dust collection that they do. Okay, so All right. that's back in. That's in, so now, now it's running your power. So you've got your processor power up at the top here. Okay. So that's gonna power your actual processor. You got your board power right here that you need to run, and then your video card power. And that's all from Only three things, it's all from this, and those should be already part of it. They should already I don't be think we need to grab any of these. Okay, well let's do it. And so the nice thing about this case is that it's got all these channels that they've built into the back Ooh. of it. So you can run, for example, this one has to come in right here. Okay. So you can run it up this channel and out and here. And then out here, and then it's right. And which in. one is that? It's gonna be, maybe it's actually like, my, my, a little screwed up on my positioning. Yeah, it's actually all the way up here. So you can run it all the way the up. The big one? Yeah, it's that big boy. And then you can just run it. And, oh, you know what, hang on, let's get this. Okay. We wanna do the other one too. And then you can run it over the top of this, it's not a problem. The problem with these is that they already have like kind of a bend in them to shape that just from being shipped. So you kind of have to fight that natural bend that they have. So that's pushed through. Sort of. Sort of. There we go. And then you can help you with this part at least. Not touching any sensitive peripherals. No. Okay, so that's nice and tight. Okay. There. Okay. And then this one plugs in right up here on your motherboard. Okay. So you can run it, you can run it up and over or you can just come over and up. That might be the easiest and then just come out right here. Let's just run it up like this. And it's usually thick enough, you can just kind of shove it under that little lip right here and it'll stay. Okay, so these are through, so we can spin this around now. Okay. Put that on. And then we'll do plugging in. So you can see this is kind of an extra. Some boards, like your mini ITX and stuff, are going to use less power. But this full ATX is probably going to use all of it, so they line up. Okay. And then you're just going to match your pin there, and Put there should be a notch, here. so it's going to have to twist. I think that's in. Yeah, it'll it'll click a little bit, but it's kind of a soft click. Okay, so I'll just twist this a little bit for you so you can get through it. And so, mm -hmm. same thing, you can count, that's, a, that's an eight pin, and then that's two oh. four pins. It's always like a, a 
pinching the squeeze getting in this corner. Yeah. So you got power in, power in. So this is your last power that we'll do. And then you've also got, this can be like your blowing out your candles on your birthday cake moment. I have a hard time pulling stuff like that. Do you? I do. Does it give you weird, the weird shivers? Yeah. yeah. My wife yeah. makes fun of me because I leave the plastic on the edge of the TV forever, <laughs> so. Yeah, it look, doesn't look like your video card had any. A lot of people will leave like the plastic on this and then it starts to warp and it gets all gross and it won't come off. So we just need to run this cord yep. from the power supply to the card. You can run it from the card to the power supply too. Okay. Let's do that. So that's your, uh, that's the other end, sorry. This is the end of the video card. And oh, it just has the three. Six pin, yep. Just like that. And then you can just kind of stuff that down in there. Mm -hmm. Push that through there if you want, or you can go down through the bottom. So it really is just going to depend on how you want it to. It's all aesthetic at this point. And VGA one. Yep. Just like that. Okay. You're basically done now. Just a couple cable management decisions. This is set up really nicely already. I think you don't need to worry about that. This is gonna be pushed down. So this will go on here. So it's gonna cover, we'll just bend this and push it in. Okay. And then we can do the same for that. Cool. I think we can put the back plate on. I think you're ready to do that. And you're yeah, not bowing out on you or anything, so it's not. Look at that. That's nice and clean. Beautiful. Okay, well, you're done, man. That was. Wow. Quick and easy, that Ooh. only took like a little over an hour. I think. We're not done, we got one more piece. I oh, gotta put the glass on it. Yeah. One more piece. Just like that. Boom. There we go. We got ourselves a PC. It's an $800 PC. $800 PC. Well, thanks Kelly. Yeah, that was awesome. Right. Told you it was easier than it, it, it's made out to be. These, you know, there's a couple of small hiccups that everybody has, I think. I have them all the time. Yeah, that and was... Uh, it's just a matter of putting the stuff where it looks like it's supposed to go. Cool. Now we just got to get her plugged in, get some... Throw some windows on there. Windows on there and get to editing this video because this video is the first video that I'm gonna edit on this. So wish me luck. Well guys, thanks for watching this build. If you see something you like, or if I did something wrong, or we messed up on something, leave a comment in the comments and smash that like button and subscribe. And I will uh, try to get some more videos. The whole purpose of building this was so I can edit videos a lot easier than my 2013 piece of crap Mac, <laughs> iMac that is super slow, so. We're not biased or anything. Yeah, we're not biased. But, hey, um, I felt like this was a pretty fun and a budget build, but still enough to get what I need done. And I still don't know if I'm gonna pull off this plastic. <laughs> do, you, uh, do you guys pull the plastic off or do you not pull the plastic off like the TV, I leave it on forever. But I'm the kind of guy that pulls the plastic off, especially on something this nice. Yeah. It's going to obscure like your nice view. You got these LEDs in here. You, I think this is going to have, it might have a couple LEDs on it. It doesn't look like it, but it might glow down from the bottom. You might miss out on a little bit of the pretty. I might. Well, thanks for tuning in guys. Have a good day. We'll see ya.